Hey everyone, are you ready to draw? Today I thought I would show you how I draw my grouchy Greg. I've already drawn him out in pencil because it will make the video go faster. But I'm going to go over it now with my marker so you guys can follow along in drawing with me. And I have a shadow again. What is with the shadow in? Yep, still got it. I don't know. My lighting came in, but I'm not setting it up until I move into the new room. But, let's start with his nose. I come up right about here. And I just draw a little curve. Come all the way around. You can make his nose as big as you want to. But I think old Grouchy Greg needs a big old nose. And next I come to the left eye. The first one I'm going to do is going to be the pupil. And I put my white light here at the top corner going this way because I want him to be looking up. And we're going to do another for the color of his eye and another for the white of his eye. And come right back into his nose. Over here, I'm just going to do a little half circle. And again, I'm going to put the white dot up to the top because I'm wanting him looking up. And his color and the white. And these are just little half circles because as you can see, he has on a hat. Next thing I do is I give him his little frown. And just a little squiggle here for the hint of a chin. Now I'm going to do his face. And if you need to, you can do the line all the way down in pencil and then come back and erase it once you put his ear in. Point his chin just a little. Bring this side around. And this side down. Now you're going to stop where you want his ears to go. Usually the eyes will be down here and the ears will be right beside it. But this is Grouchy Ralph and I want him to look wonky. So it's just a backward C. Another backward C for the inside of his ear. Now this side you're going to do a regular big C. And another C for inside. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of hair, not a lot. Because underneath his hat, I want you to imagine Grouchy Greg is one of these guys that just has the hair on the sides. And he's bald in the center. Now for his neck, it's just a little curve here. A little curve here. The Collar does sure can be anything you want it to be. This time I just gave it a band. And then I'm just going to give him some shoulders and come down. Some shoulders and come down. Now for his hat this time, I normally give him a beanie, but I decided to give him just a little wonky looking top hat sort of thing. But like the old man hat they used to wear, well, I guess some still do. There's a straight line across, down, and bring your line back across, closing up the top of his eyes. And you can just make a short rectangle on top. And put his band in. Here you can put like a little line here and do a little flower coming out of it. I decided he's being annoyed by this pesky bird today. And it's a wonky bird. It's not a regular bird. So I do his eye this way. Give him some little tiny legs. And I put some rain boots on him. And there you have pesky Greg. 
oh, I forgot. I'm going to do a little white line down here. I'm going to go ahead and close in his eye. Because the bird's looking back down at him. And this is Grouchy Greg. Easy peasy. Easiest little thing in the world to draw. All it is is circles and straight lines. So, um, I'm really coloring. Just because I can. Let's see. Little bird needs some red rubber boots on. Someone else had asked me. The only reason I'm coloring him today is someone else had asked me about the skin tones. Okay, there are many different ways you can do the skin tone. <coughs> you can mix up crayons. You can mix up paints. I've got skin tone paint. But because I was asked specifically about the pencils, I'm going to do his skin tone with pencils today. Let's do this one. On a white one. And I think I want this one. I'm going to start with my darkest skin tone first. And I'm just going to shade it in. I'm not pressing down hard. I'm not trying to get a dark color on his skin. I'm just coming down lightly. Oh, I forgot. If you want to be real fun with it, you can put some little hair in his ears and some hair coming off of his ears. If you end up with some pencil lines after you do your marker, just go back and erase them. And you want to color in any parts of the skin you have showing at the same time. Like the neck or if you put hands or arms on your character. And I am using, let's see, which are these? Uh, these are my Prisma colors, I think. Nope, these are Art and Fly. I don't know. Don't know where I got them or when I got them. I've had them forever. Most likely, either at Dick Blick's, Amazon. I don't usually buy pencils or markers at Michael's. They're just too high. Okay, now, you can see his, his face is kind of scratchy looking, but that's okay. I'm going to come back in with a lighter skin tone and go right back over that. You can see every bit of those pencil lines are leaving because these two pencils react together to blend. Um, if you want to make a brown skinned one, my suggestion is you still start with these colors and then um, put your brown on before you do your white. Because you want to build the foundation up. Normally, I take more time and I'm more careful with this. But for the purpose of the video, I'm trying to rush it up. I 
I had to get the right white one out. I'm not sure. But let's try it and see. Well, this doesn't say I'm going to put it over here to start. Prismacolor white ones are the very best for blending. They're very smooth. Well, in my opinion, I'm not going to say they're the best for everybody, but for what I draw and the things that I make, to me, I prefer the Prismacolor. And the white is going to be your longest part that you color with because you have to make sure all of these blend in. And again, like I said, because I'm rushing, I'm not going to do this the way I normally do it. But I want you to see how the pencils blend together to get a skin tone. Okay, now I want to give him the color for his eyes. I'm not happy with the skin, but I'm going to let it go for now. Um, I want to do let's see I want to do a shocking color for his eye I'll come right here with this one give him a bright blue eye If y'all have noticed with my Kathy's kids, most of my people I draw are characters. They're, they're wonky. They're just, I don't try, I can draw people, but I try, most of the time I'm just messing around to draw wonky. And plus too, I think that the wonky looks better in art journals. Like if you want to draw something on a page. Now, unless you just want a beautiful journal and you don't want it to look whimsical and wonky, then you wouldn't want to draw something like this on your page. Okay, let me do my black. Um, I might as well go ahead and give him black hair today. His hair is a little neater than I normally do it too. I usually have it sticking out everywhere. But again, for the sake of the time of the video. <coughs> now, for this little bird. <coughs> I'm going to give him some curly tail feathers. And all you do to do the curly is just make 
one circle behind the other. Just keep like your squiggle one. Um, what color do I want this bird to be? Let's give him a purple beak and purple legs. Oh, I forgot all about it. Mr. Bird has no wings. I drew my bird backwards, so it's kind of difficult. I usually have him facing the other way because I'm right-handed. So let me give him this wing. And I want to come under that wing. Give it another layer. I want to put some little dots in my curlies. And then I guess I'll go ahead and make him yellow. Because that was the first pencil I saw when I opened. So there is Grouchy Greg's annoying bird. Now I have his hat and I have his shirt. I'm going to get a marker for that because they go faster. Um, let me see. What color do I want his band to be? I think I know what color I want it to be. It's fine in it. Okay, we'll go with this one. And I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants on grabbing colors. For the purpose of the video because I had planned to use colored pencils for it all and then I realized during the face that to do the blending and all is going to take too much time for just a video so there's his band go ahead and make the the same color just for the heck of it now um let's go with this for his hat it's kind of like a dark burgundy color It almost looks brown on camera, but it's really a dark burgundy. Trust me on this one. I know you guys have been messaging, asking me to do tutorials on drawing the Kathy's kids. I have to be in the mood to do them. And I was doodling today during the device sale. And I've already done a Grouchy Greg, but I put a beanie on him that time. I just decided to do this hat this time. If you have these two-sided markers, they're great for coloring in large spaces in a hurry. But use what you have. Don't even worry about it. Just If you, all you have is colored pencils or crayons or just regular number two pencils, you can do a lot with number two pencils with drawing by just shading in and putting different amounts of pressure on your pencils and make it look grayscale. Those drawings come out really nice.
and you don't have to have an art journal. You can use notebook paper. You can use book pages. Drawing on book pages actually makes fantastic journal cards. So let's just give him an ugly green shirt. All of you that love green can fuss at me later. I don't like green. The only place I like green is when I'm out in nature. I don't want to get that wider, but that's okay. One more thing you can do, and you don't have to do it. I don't always do it. It depends on how whimsical I'm making a drawing. Is once you do the shirt, just come back in and put a little line to give some indication that he has an arm there. But you don't have to do it. You can just stay just the bodice. And this is Grouchy Greg. So you can, you know, replay the video. You can stop it and pause it places. And that's the reason why I decided I would do the video. I've had some of you ask me if I would teach some classes. I just figured that on the video, it's going to be easier for you to be able to stop it as you go. Okay, I'll see you soon. I want to see your grouchy Gregs. Post them in my Facebook group, Kathy's World. See you soon. Bye-bye.